Now, this is from the uh, New York State D DEC Solid Waste uh, Management per Facility Inspection Report from John Thompson. That's the inspector's name. And it states this, this registered act, act, uh, activity consists of five tanks with approximately 20,000 gallons each located in a row behind the shop. The tanks are partially buried and at least three of the tanks consisted of waste. All are very rusted with visible holes and at least one had a chunk of steel missing just above the ground uh, surface. Inspector stated these tanks need to be uh, tightness and or leak tested once every two years. We, uh, the DEC could not find any tests since these tanks were there. Absolutely none. Okay. Then it goes on to say the activity of the, uh, the act activities consist of land application fields, one southeast of the shop and another uh, larger field across from the north side of Route 5. Both have been recently used and un incorporated uh, sewage was visible in some areas. Okay. Uh, what that means is that it hasn't been turned over. Okay, yeah. Now this is a, a, a thing from New York State DEC. Okay, and there's another one here because they only inspect it twice. And that's what got this ball going. What what usually happens with the DEC, the, the DEC won't do anything. They won't even monitor. Okay? Because we went and we sat through a stack of papers looking for annual reports and also test results done on the field. The bulk of them weren't even there because the DEC just stamps them, okay, we, uh, we are received it on blank and blank, put it into a file. And, and their big excuse is we don't have enough manpower. Up until someone starts foiling them, freedom of information requesting, all this information, and believe me, they don't like it. They get really ticked at us, <clears throat> okay? And once that happens, then all of a sudden, you start asking for details. You start asking for test results. You start asking for test results on storage tanks that are right in your own community. That are leaking. That have holes in them and metal missing. Now it's bad enough on the field. And so then the DEC says, wow, we gotta cover our, ourselves. So we better do something now. And guess what happened? Full investigation. The same thing happened with the whack of milk when we stopped them. Multi million dollar corporation. They killed 144 fish and we stopped them just by doing it by this way. Okay? I don't care about Mr. Call's <coughs> whatever. All I care about is this land and the people that live on it. Most of the stuff that we go to the ground with comes from our septic systems that we, that we all put in the ground. I have a septic system in my house. And uh, I use 300 and some gallons a day. We all do, average. But, you know, some people are probably use 100. They're careful. But some people use 500 gallons a day. It goes in, in the ground. Uh, but the theory is the solids go into the tank. They do get treated. They get treated by anaerobic bacteria. Not, not in, the, in the city sewer, they use aerobic bacteria. They blow air into it. In the country, you use anaerobic bacteria that attacks it. And then the cleanest stuff of that goes up and goes out into the system. And the theory is, with the state and federal, I say, if you can go 100 feet of saturation, it'll be purified. It doesn't always work that way because it hits the bedrock and disappears. Um, now it's, not a, it's, not, it's not an easy answer to how to solve this problem. I would, uh, I'm hoping that enough people will speak up and say, we don't want this in our community. He has another option. It's not like he all of a sudden is going to shut down. He has another option by going to a sewage treatment plant so that it's not spread on your field. Because I'm telling you, with figures like this, we've already talked to the EPA about a brownfield site. What I'm trying to, what I'm trying to do here is, in, in defense of the town board's actions over the years, we, we don't just arbitrarily say, well, okay, it's okay, you can dump anything up there that you want to. This is all done through our planning board investigates it. 
we had the DEC has permits that we look at, the planning board looks at. We're becoming the dumpy zone for metropolitan areas. And what happened in 1998, all the biosolids and sludge, they used to take them off and barge dump them in the ocean. And what happened, it was starting to wash up, people complained, so we didn't really realize that, but they, then they come through our communities and farmers, and of you know, we feel for farmers. My family is farming community, came from a farming community too. I don't mind it. They put the farmer between a rock and a hard place, and sure, you want to try to catch some influx of cash flow, so you might take on other things and do it in, in Albion where they're spreading sludge. But it's a, it's a means to a bad end, and that's the thing of it. And I hate to see our rural community become the dumping grounds for not, not only metropolitan areas, but every community around or anybody that's willing to take this oh, stuff in. And right that touches on the fracking issue, too. That's why so many people here are concerned about the waste of it, because it can come in the back door we may not know about, so there's a lot of concern. <laughs> Eighty call is the ones that uh, that are uh, doing the septic tank waste dumping, right? And they're doing it legally. Their their operations are being inspected, mm -hmm. and uh, they're they're doing everything that they're supposed to do. Mm -hmm. And uh, I uh, they're they're pointing a guilty finger, I think, at them, but they're doing everything that they're supposed to do. Our planning board reviews what they do, mm -hmm. and they see the report that's given by the DEC, mm -hmm. and they approve it. Then they send it on to the town board, and we approve of it. Uh, you know, as long as the numbers to the DEC are under on the gallonage, and, you know, the stuff that we're doing, nobody's ever got, I mean, they can say all this stuff about people getting sick. I went to the state meetings. Nobody has ever gotten sick from it, ever. So it's normal stuff. It isn't not the most objectionable thing, but mm -hmm. you know, anybody that's had babies and changed their diapers, you know, you get your hands in it. You know, there's mm -hmm. something you have to do. It's part of life. Mm -hmm. We pump the tanks. Everybody in that room except about two is on septic system. They all know it's got to be done. Mm -hmm. We do it. Mm -hmm. We spread it legally. Cover it daily. Mm -hmm. um, these two guys are activists, and they're interested in turtles and stuff like that. And I understand. But um, they didn't catch us doing anything illegal, and the guy even added it up and says, yeah, they're not, they're not over. The, uh, Mr. Call does have other options. He has the options to go to sewage treatment plants. Okay, so, he, so it's not like we're saying close down. We're saying stop dumping now, use the sewage treatment plant, plant until the investigation is done, until soil samples can be made. I mean, he... he uh, he uh, mentioned about uh, testing and soil samples. Right, we haven't well, seen any of them because the DEC doesn't even have them. They do not have any sort of uh, soil test.